Today's our final day from the book of Psalms, and I encourage you to go back to the Psalms again and again to continue to learn how to worship and how to pray as uh, these great writers who are so inspired, uh, how they model for us how to communicate with God. Uh, our verse for the day comes from Psalm 146, and Psalm 146 is a psalm that is praising God for God's help. And interestingly, uh, in the Hebrew, uh, Psalms 146 through to the end, through Psalm 150, they all begin and end with hallelujah, which we translate in most English Bibles, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God all my life long. And I chose that verse to be the verse of the day because I think that's what the Psalms is encouraging us to do. It's to have a lifestyle of worship. It's to have a life that's lived in relationship with God day by day, week by week, month by month, year by year, recognizing that God is the source of our help. And later in Psalm 146 and verse 5, it says, happy are those whose help is in the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord their God, who made heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them, who keeps faith forever, who executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the strangers. He upholds the orphan and the widow, but the way of the wicked he brings to ruin. Now, when you listen to those verses, you can hear echoes of the prophet Isaiah. You can also hear echoes of the ministry of Jesus. You remember when Jesus was in his hometown synagogue, how he read from the prophet Isaiah and talked about setting the prisoners free and opening the eyes of the blind and uh, the affirmation that the Lord watches over the stranger, the orphan, and the widow, which we see over and over and over in the Bible as we're reading through, and the fact that those of us who look to God to help, we want to, like our God, be those who think of the prisoner and the blind, the stranger, the orphan, and the widow. How can we help them even as God has been our help? I hope that the book of Psalms has encouraged your prayer life a little bit, and I pray that you'll continue to turn to the Psalms. Read even one a day. I think you'll find it will be a blessing for you. And may God help you this day, wherever in your life you need the Lord's aid.